All right, guys, welcome to episode 98 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got Jay over here, Remy in the back. You already know how to fuck with rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch. And if you haven't done so already, man, hit that subscription, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time that we drop. All right, no excuses, guys. We don't want to hear it. It only takes two seconds. So we'll go ahead and give you those two seconds right now. All right, two. Boom. Two only. Boom. Two. Boom. That's it. That's it. But we looking wild. good. We feeling good. How y'all feeling, boys? How y'all feeling? I'm feeling good. Feeling, feeling good. Yeah, all right. All Yo, right. it's ha- happy motherfucking Father's Day. Hey, happy Father's Day, yeah. bro. What you mean, bro? Yeah. Happy Father's Day to my motherfucking to guy. Fathers. He has like fucking five kids. Happy Father's Day to I my do. guy. One Happy in Asia. Father's Day to <laughs> one in Asia. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to all the real fathers out there, man. For real, the guys that actually do what you're supposed to do, not the Instagram daddies. You know what I'm saying? The, the guys that fucking post a, a thousand pictures that they take in one day throughout the year. Yeah, 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 you know I mean? yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Shout out to so, the real so, fathers. Salute to Jay because yeah. he's a father hey, first oh. before anything. Hey, hey, and let, let's get this out the way, right? Women, single mothers, mm. today is not your day. I'm sorry. <laughs> you already a, had your day. Yeah. Mother's Day is Mother's Day. Father's Day is Father's Day. We want a right? barbecue. I know we want a barbecue. I, uh, yeah, I, I know a lot of people want to fucking have two two Mother's Day, two Mother's Days in a year, but yeah. there's one Mother's Day, one Father's Day. You got to salute the real fathers. You can't just shit on the shitty fathers on Father's Day, too. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, dead yeah. ass, dead ass. Like, come on, bro. This is our day to shine. This is our day to have fun. This, if we want our day because he has a Frenchie. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm a father, bro. I'm a father he's to a, a dog Frenchie. dad. Uh, he probably is a father. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably a father. No, I'm not he's a not a father. John carries a good batch of Plan B pills with him fact. everywhere he goes. I'm a really he's good not a father. <laughs> nah, I got a good. Nah, that's fucking. That's my little brother. I told him to start doing that shit. <laughs> Yo, hey. don't put my dog. Hey, hey, I didn't yeah. say no names. I didn't say no names, bro. <laughs> I didn't say no names. Don't put my business out. Y'all there, don't bro. know my brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> you might. If you do, then they fuck. Do I don't know what to say. All his if friends you do, are watching. You know he has Plan B. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Hit him up. Nah, bro. The last person I had sex with, bro. Nah, I wore a fucking condom G. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. So it, no yeah. Plan B. You, you've never used Plan B. Only one time. Yeah, Only I've done it a time. few times, bro. It's just it's it's Shit. like being responsible <laughs> after you were irresponsible. Obviously, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. He's like. <laughs> Yo, he looked over at me. He's like, "Shit, yeah, bro, hey, bro I my dog don't believe in Plan B, Plan C, Plan nah. D. He don't nah. believe in none of that. One plan, baby. Like, that look- just go ahead. And <laughs> That's it. Nah. No retreat. No <laughs> retreat. Nah, <laughs> let's run over here. <laughs> nah, but but what's the most embarrassing sex moment you ever had? Oh man, I don't have those. No, like, oh, damn. like I'm talking about applause oh, no. of my guy. Oh, yeah, right. My dog oh, said, yeah. no. <laughs> Marvin Gaye over hey, here. My dog over oh, there making it rain you. on himself. No, no, bro. no Marvin Gaye here. Yeah. <laughs> cut the Marvin. Yeah, cut the Marvin and cut the game. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. That's fucking wild. Nah, bro. Most embarrassing yeah. sex moment, like, like fuck, Martin man. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, the most yeah. Em- okay. Okay. I got one. The most embarrassing. Se- all right. I'm gonna go first because I'm gonna be honest, bro. I'm not. A, I'm not afraid, bro. All right. Hit me with I'm it. I'm not yeah, afraid. Listen. All right. So there was one time I went over to this girl's house. It was my birthday, and she was really, really like cool about it, you know. But basically, I fucking slipped on the condom. I was turned on already. I was hard as a fucking rock. Yeah. I fucking <laughs> slipped on the condom and then I nutted in the fucking condom. Oh wow! Like yeah. before you even yeah. stuck it in. Yeah, you know what? We're done here. Yeah. And my dog said, yeah. "Hey, my dog yeah. said, yeah. hey baby, you don't know how to touch me like I know how to touch you." Yeah, Ooh, thanks. Right? Uh, wow. That's what he said. She noticed though. She was like, and then she was like, "Are you still gonna?" And then I was like, "No, no, no!" And then I stopped. She turned on the lights. She was just like, "All right, um, let's just smoke." And I was like, "Yeah, let's just smoke, whatever." And then we just went for round two, and then it was cool. But yeah. she knew what the fuck happened, and it was yeah, really yeah. embarrassing for me because I was just like, oh, "Bro, oh. I feel like the most embarrassing thing that happened to me was a girl couldn't get me hard." But I think it was more embarrassing for her than for me. You know what I'm saying? Like it was yeah. one of those situations where she's like, "Fuck her," you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I would have been yeah. like. Well, it, I'm it happens sometimes. Like you think you, get, you know, what I'm saying you yeah. think you, you got one, and then you you get one, and it's it's not that. Have you ever it's got? Have you ever got like caught cheating? Like you like actually cheating? Like, like no. Bad no? enough relationships. No. But Has anybody cheated at least once here? I've cheated. I, my ex cheated. cheated on me, and I'm then at, uh, this, I you've never cheated. No, 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 you've no, never I'm cheated? talking. I'm talking oh, about like I'm talking about just like high school relationships, like petty relationships. Well, I yeah, didn't really. Bro, have you go. Hey, listen, man. 
Look, wow. bro. I have a very limited amount of relationship. Wow. <laughs> yeah, my dog's yeah. been married for 12 years. Well, that's but true. The, th- that is the true. thing is, it's like, bro, like, I feel like you become a cheater after you've been cheated on. Yes. That's what happens. Yeah. It's like the hurt, hurt, the hurt. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're, you're the angry. hurt, hurt, hurt. Yeah. Right. And then yeah. the, the thing is, like, a lot of us weren't even cheated on. We were just hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Who hurt like, you? <laughs> I got caught. Who broke your yeah, heart? I got caught, bro. And it was so crazy, bro. How <laughs> you get caught? Let's no, talk right. about this. All, all right. So I went to a high school football game, right? This was oh, like my man. sophomore year, right? This was when my body was really changing. And I was starting to look how I look now. My dog said he had a fucking continue. 14 inch cock. Yeah. Right? Oh. Yo, <laughs> I, was, I was talking to a girl. You know who she is. Like, you know I what I mean? Love. I was talking to two of them at the same time. It was my cousin's best friends. Damn. Right? And now we know. Already yeah. slimy. Already yeah, slimy. Already. Yeah, yeah. So it's already. Fucked up as it is, right? So, so hook me up. My grandfather, rest in peace to my grandpa. I swear to God, bro. RP. Yo, RP. he's the one that took us to the football game, but he knew what the fuck was going on. And he's always been like, he gave you a box of magnets. He's like, yo, you better fucking double strap it up, bro. He's like, you better put on double condoms, bro. He's he always she telling, me, yeah. So skin, he's like, be skin. careful. He's like, be careful. Nah, and guess up. what the fuck happened? I went around, I disappeared. Right with her. With one of them. <laughs> and I went to the school and she was crying and upset about something. I was like, what's wrong with you? And she was upset that I was with her. Oh, man. One of these stories. Yeah. yeah. And sold her with his cock. So basically what I did was, I, we, next thing you know, tears. I felt some type of way. I gave her a hug and then we're just making out. Next thing you know, we're making hey, out. Hey, listen. And then I'm grief just like. Does, grief does strange things. Yeah. And it was just really weird. And then. That you were making next, out with a girl? Next thing you know. Yeah. With one of them. And then the other one comes around the corner with my cousin and she's like, and she saw me and it was the most awkward situation oh. I've ever been. Cause we had to ride back together oh in the same my God. Wait, car. So hold on, bro. So hold on. first of all, you're super dumb. Yeah, I know. Like, I know. Super dumb. But I didn't right? give a fuck. It was like, I wanted it to happen. Man, this listen, guy, he's this toxic. Guy I've said is, it before. Why like, you let me let me <laughs> let her see. Let me let her see. Let's yeah. see where this goes. I'm gonna come in. <laughs> hey, turn let up me, the music. Yeah, yeah. Let me lick them tears off your fucking cheek, all right? Nah, iPod. bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, it was it was an awkward situation. It was really quiet on the way home for sure, and they stopped being friends. It was a little beef yeah, going nah, on, but they squashed extreme, it. Yeah, bro, like, you're like a home record kind of. Yeah, like that. That's, I'm like a Drake. That's you know? kind of extreme. Like that's an extreme way to get caught, bro. Like, relationship. That's like the step right before you get caught, like in bed. Mm. Deep. That's deep. Bro. Yeah, that is that's deep. deep. Fuck. That's deep. You know what? But I learned my lesson. Hey and guys, I never round of applause yeah. to John. Don't be learned this lesson. Though, okay? Don't be a piece of shit. <laughs> Don't be a cheater. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But yeah, no, nah, like, I, <laughs> so, I yeah. personally cheated before too, bro. It's just one of those things where, like, you don't. You don't even try to you don't even look for it you don't want to do it but it happens bro and then that's when you sometimes that's what makes you realize like yeah i might not have as strong of feelings for this person as i thought yeah because i wouldn't have done that exactly that's true that's true it was like message i'd rather just be lonely (laughs) lonely oh my lord i miss that sweet fucking voice Damn, bro! It's like honey to my ears. It's like it honey is. to my. Ears. It's like fucking uh, Fuck. honey to the comb. <laughs> honey yeah. to the comb. I like fucking. honey. But listen, man. Son, I wanted to talk about it real quick, guys. The social media breaks. This past oh, week, bro, shit. I fucking took a social media break for the most part. Like I wasn't really on it. I wasn't posting. I wasn't really looking at anything on yeah. it. Uh, besides, like the dope talk page, I was like, and you porn. know, messaging people. Yeah, just work shit. But yeah. besides that, porn. bro, I was just like, yeah. bro, like. Sometimes it's good, bro. Sometimes it's needed to take that mental break and, and stop overloading your fucking mind with just nonsense, nonsense. Yeah. and just yeah. fucking scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Yeah. And then, like, it just gets to a point where, like, you're not entertained anymore and you start you start feeling, like, depressed, bro. Like, it's, yeah. it's like, depressing. Like, it's the same shit over and over. Yeah, it's you over and saying? over again. Yeah, especially if you follow, like, just negative people. You know what I mean? It's not even yeah. about that, bro. It's just it's the same thing, man. Like, there's a lot of there. There's real life issues. There's there's things that people are dealing with and shit on a personal level, bro. And it's like everything isn't always for the world to see. Everything isn't always a joke. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what the internet it makes it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the internet is is just that. You can't get mad at it. 
you just got to remove yourself from it for a second. And you yeah. just get you know yeah. You just got to remove yourself for a second and take a step back and realize like all this shit is fake. All that shit's bullshit. People Smoking act like ass. people want to post all their achievements but don't want to post their failures. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean. And it's like okay, that's not really realistic. Bro, the real worse than you, miserable. Yeah, yeah, yeah facts. You know? Like yeah. miserable as fuck. Yeah. They Listen, just look man. Happy. The real, like, the real of it is that <clears throat> there's a lot of people out there that, like you just said, they post their, their success, but they don't post their failures. And in life, that's not how it works, man. Like, you're literally going to take way more losses than you are going to have wins in your life. Yeah. And that's just really what it comes down to. Yeah. But, yeah, guys, if you agree with that, like, if you feel like social media breaks are necessary or needed or you just feel like you it, it's good for you, go down in the comments and let us know, man. I feel like it's good for you to take a break from everything sometimes, bro. Not yeah. even just social media. Just go drive out somewhere by yourself, man, and just sit by a fucking lake. You know take a bottle like, of Jack Daniel yeah. and fucking play with a shotgun <laughs> and put the bear... No, I'm just kidding. Yo, we don't, 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 don't be afraid. Yeah, problems, call the hotline. Don't be afraid <laughs> to do things by yourself. Like, I really yeah, feel fresh. I really feel like people are, like, really codependent on other people, yeah. like, nowadays. Like, they're, like wow, they can't are be you by, fucking going to school for psychology or something? I don't know, yeah, man. But you're talking reading. to somebody, yeah, bro. Reading? This guy's reading. Uh, no, I, reading I, I have, I have. And you know what? I really noticed that you you really start to get more powerful as a person as a human being when you start spending time by yourself facts um because when you when you depend on somebody else what are you supposed to do like for the rest of your life what happens if that person can't be there 100 percent of the time then they just it's like a battery pack you yeah. you use other people to charge you up and that you should be able to charge yourself up yeah no that's a fu that's a that, fact bro like you know what i mean listen man being He's by still, yourself some people are scared to be alone bro and i feel like that like that's not really good for you but there's, all, there's two sides to every coin bro like <clears throat> being alone by like being alone for too long bro it's great for you but it's all it can be dangerous because then it's like yeah you get used to the peace and the quiet and not having people around not dealing with other people's bullshit and drama bro and then yeah. like you don't even want people around after yep. that yep. human you know contact like, is important but nah, it's like, it is. But it's it like really last is. night i was like man you know i don't i don't have no one to go out with but then again my one of my close friends i grew up with is a promoter and then i'm out here meeting all these people i'm like you know what man like the old john was like nah like you know my anxiety right. came up and i was getting nervous and i was just like nah i don't want to do it no more you know what i mean and then I don't know if people have social anxiety, but if you, I if have you social anxiety. You I fucking like, hate being in crowded places, but it, this fuck yeah. loves attention. So yeah. of course he fucking <laughs> yeah. so, loves so, being so, in crowded so, places. So I go out there and it was cool. You know what I mean? It's not even about the attention part. It's more of like I just wanted to see some eye candy for number one. Facts. Meet some other new, meet new women, meet new people. You because, definitely need to meet because, new women. Because, bro, like, I notice when you start networking and start, like, talking to other people, it really makes a difference, bro, in your life. It really can be. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not even about, yeah, like, because if you're going to stay in your house all day, like, what is that going to get you? Like, yeah, like, I spent, I like, 30, I spent 30 bucks day. last night. I spent 30 bucks, and I was out for three hours, and it was a vibe. You know what I mean? And I met a couple people, I networked, and it was cool. But it's, like... You have to spend time by yourself, man. You really do. Like, just go out to that restaurant. Go out to the club. Well, you know, go go out to places. Go to the beach. I go to I the beach like by it, myself all the time. It's different. Like, everybody's yeah. different. Like, for example, that's that's your setting, bro. You yeah. like the club. Like, yeah. I went to Barnes & Noble by myself and got me a fucking Bible. I love Barnes & Noble. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know what I'm yeah, saying? It's like, 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 Barnes & Noble. It, it's just like, no, that ass though. I went to Barnes & Noble, got me a Bible. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was cool. I met a lady. She actually helped me pick out the Bible. Like, ultimately, bro, like, yeah, it's just, it's just yeah. networking is important. Getting yeah. out of the house is important, bro. Yeah. Go, to, go to where it's you feel comfortable. Go, go by You're, yourself. Yeah go, yeah, go to where you feel comfortable. Go, 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 go to your yeah. setting. Go for yeah. a hike. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah. It's true. Kayaking. Don't be scared to do shit alone, Between bro. Like, that's that's why, like, the gym, for example, the gym, right? Yeah, that's like, a good if, example. Yeah. Like, I've been going to the gym now, bro. I'm proud of myself. It's been, like, two years I've been going straight. Going no by excuses. himself. You're going by yourself. And it's, like, for the last year and a half, I've been going alone. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't need nobody to be like, oh, nigga, bring you. Like, bro, I'm gone. Yeah. Like, it's already that's routine. Where, that, yeah. yeah, like, that's where you, where you need to get yourself mentally. Like, bro, like, go get it done. Because it's not about the next person. It's not for the trainer. Like, yep. I hear people making that excuse. Like, I heard a video where Gary Vee was saying that. He was like, oh, you know, I, I do it for the trainer. And I'm like, that sounds good, bro, but that's kind of stupid. Yeah. Because if your trainer quits, yeah. what? You're going to stop working out? Yeah, that's you see crazy. what I'm saying? It's yeah. like you need to do it for you. Yeah. Fuck anybody else, bro. Yeah, that's do it so for true. you. Do it for your health, bro. It's not about 
looking good for other people that that comes with it you yeah, know people yeah, are gonna yeah. notice your gains but yeah. just do it for your health man and it's you know good for your mental like, health but it's true what john says bro like networking is important yeah. talking to different people is important yeah like if you don't know who that person is standing yeah, next to you bro bro that's, that's why it happens in the music industry a lot bro yeah. facts facts look at all those atlanta rappers you know, Do you I'm, know that they all knew each other at one point? Mm-hmm. They were all in the studio, and what really motivated one, that's why that whole Atlanta blew up. Yeah. One made it, then they all hung on. They're like, dude, if he made mm-hmm. Waka Flocka didn't even rap at all. And he didn't want to until he saw that Lex guys Luger made it. it. And then he was just like, damn, he's making bread. And then like that dude from 808 Mafia, yeah, mm-hmm. he, him too. He saw Lex Luger make it. He's like, it was the first time he's like that I was like, man, I could do this was when Lex Luger came and he had like 15 grand. Mm-hmm. And he pulled it out, and he's like, yo. He's like, I was with this dude all the time, and now he's famous like that. He's like, I could do this. And boom, right. one after the other, they were coming out. Oh, yeah. Bro, and the thing guy, is, it's yeah. like, sometimes you don't see the vision for yourself. Like, yeah. Lil Baby was one of them. That like, there's vi- there's videos where Lil Baby's just in the background. Cool. He's one of the niggas just cooling, yeah. you know, shooting dice and smoking with the niggas that are the stars yeah, at yeah. the time. Yeah. And he talked about it. He's like, yo, Coach K was the one that was like, yo, rap, rap, just rap. And he's like, nah, bro, that ain't for me, whatever. Look at him now. Yeah. He didn't see the vision for himself. Somebody was like, yo, bro, you should do this. And he's like, you know what, let me try it. Now he's the biggest fucking thing popping. Yeah. You know what I'm he saying? Has, it's like He does video work too, the guy that I met. And he was just like, yo, I'm, I'm working in Miami for the baby for this music video. And word. he's a DJ. He's, 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 he's going to start DJing here at uh, Eden, at the mm. spot that we were at. And I was like, Run damn, of see? Applause to that you know guy, what I mean? So, Round of applause. He, yo, I gave him, I gave him Dope Talk IG. You know what I mean? He checked us out. That's what's up. Uh, and it's just little things like that, bro. You Facts. know what I mean? Because I'm an artist myself. I told him, I said, yo, I just shot a music video right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. And uh, yeah, bro, it's just, it's about who you know, bro. Nowadays. Yeah, bro, yeah. networking, it's all you about your network. You don't gotta be talented. You yeah. can be a complete piece of shit yeah. and still have a possibility to make it. Exactly. Right. I'm, not right. that, I'm not that talented. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm a normal fucking dude just like you guys. <laughs> Everybody's like, a normal you know I mean? person. I'm a it's fucking a normal dude. It's a quiet. Facts. It's a quiet with time. Like the yeah. guitar. I'm I playing make mistakes. and I'm shitty. Yeah. <laughs> but at some point, I won't be shitty. Yeah, it just takes it takes time, man. Yeah. It takes time. But yeah, your network is your net worth, guys. Like, get around people, like, in it's your true. field. Like, whatever it is that you're trying to do, bro, listen to the people that have done it. Listen to the listen to your elders. Listen to the people that were in your shoes 10 years ago. Because those are the people that are going to... They're going to be mm-hmm. able to guide you. Maybe not exactly, because every maze is different but they'll be able to give you pointers that help you out a lot bro yeah He's like through. for real for real for real. that's fucking dope but yeah man car wash car washes and getting that's stuck in them guys scary. there's a story shout out to my boy miguel man shout out to you bro yeah. it was one time this nigga we were at work bro he told me straight up he's like bro i don't know about this car wash bro if i feel like it's gonna fucking shit out soon and uh, i was like yeah whatever bro like it might might not I come back fucking 10, 20 minutes later, bro. This nigga stuck in the car wash, bro. Just laughing his ass off in the car. I was like, wow. That car shit, wash bro. is really fucking <laughs> trapping nah, niggas, bro. bro. Yo, that shit happened to me one time, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Me. That shit happened to me, bro. I was just, you know, a little car wash around the corner, that $20 mm-hmm. a month joint, whatever. Fucking, I pulled in that bitch and I was in the middle of it. I'm smoking an L in the Honda. I'm thinking my my bumper is like kind of coming off, guys. I just want to let y'all know. It was like a, it was a little incident that happened last year. But anyways, the bumper's kind of falling off. So I thought the shit got caught on the machine or some shit and it jammed or some shit. Bro, like I'm thinking, risky going in there with that bumper. Yeah, though. Holy yeah shit. I'm, fucking, I'm fucking freaking out. I'm high. Like I'm already like, what the fuck is going on? You know? <laughs> anyways, this shit stops and I see the guy running like this. <laughs> and then he, I'm like, and then he just presses the button and it goes, eh, eh, emergency and stop. I'm, and I'm like, <laughs> and then he fucking, no, nah, it already stopped. So everything turned off and then it turned back on. I was like, all right. And then it started moving again. I was like, oh, okay. He reset that bitch like a modem. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Like, he said, hold on, bro. She's about to blow up. <laughs> yeah. I felt like Final Destination. You ever seen that fucking shit when you go in and then everyone it starts talking that the boys had to come and the ambulance, you were in there smoking in the car. They're like, excuse me. <laughs> All the smoke comes out. You just like oh, my bad. Oh, man. Yeah, no, those things can be fucking dangerous, but they're Scary. so useful too. Yeah, there's a good yeah. sign and a bad sign because when I don't feel like washing my car by hand, but there's which nothing like washing time. your car by hand. Yeah, though. I used to yeah, do that. No, you're, you're, that was you. You're the one. Look. This motherfucker put me on fucking car wash. Fuck all that. I was really? like, hey, bro. Man, we're Puerto Rican. You're supposed to be on car wash <laughs> no, by like I'm a real Puerto Rican. I do it by hand. You used to wash his car by hand. I'm like, nigga. 
I'm not spending. Not not wash it with a bucket. No, like, by hand. not that Puerto I'm, Rican. Not, no, 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 <laughs> no, that's me. Like, you know the car wash. Oh no, I use the hose. But, but I, 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 I got a bucket. I got a bucket too. I used to wash tires. I used to wash my car by hand, bro. Like I used to, bro. When I first got the Camaro, yeah, I used to wash that shit by hand. But it's like shines. After a while, I'm like, bro, I'm gonna just pay twenty dollars a month and go every day if I want to. Yeah, like every I could go day. every day. You if that. I get love bugs right on my shit, I could go every day. What like, is Mr. Mr. Car Wash? Yeah, Mr. Oh, yeah? They got different air, uh, so I can go any, different locations. Yeah, I can go anywhere. What? Yeah, like yeah, they got different yeah. locations. Oh, right next to your house. Insane. They got one right next to your house. Really? Yeah. That's the cheapest one. It's like 20 bucks a month, and you fucking you could go there and car wash every day, fucking vacuum your shit. The car wash I go to is in the hood. So like when I go there. Damn! I always gotta carry my strap, Get and I'm strap. always looking around my shoulder every nah, two seconds. Like, like, yeah, somebody's gonna try rob me from my car. <laughs> hey guys, yeah, this fuck. is not a paid fucking. You know what I'm saying? Advertisement. Yeah. We're not getting paid by Mr. Car Wash, but guys, Mr. Yeah. Car Wash, Listen, Mr. Car Wash. I actually want to own one. There. I want to own one. Yeah, bro. Like, you want to own one? I want to own one, and I want to like. I don't know. You're, you're fucking that's a good, Hispanic. That's a good it's in your blood to clean cars, damn yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to start from the bottom. Like, unless you got some money to buy out one and just hire people. Yeah. A detailing nah, business bro. is something that's pretty um, <laughs> low overhead cost, though, to start. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just the technique. There's a lot of businesses. Really? Yeah. Because like, you know them yeah. Hispanics be doing a lot with a little bit. Yeah, and it, I mean, sure. you gotta think about it. It's work they too. They go into the car and shit. Oh yeah, it's, it's work. work it's cause, cause, yeah, like in the floor. Yeah. Bro, yeah. I used to do that detailing mm -hmm. shit for real, bro. And that shit is no yeah, joke. You, did. That heat is you hated that, is that no shit. Joke. You hated that shit. Yeah, bro. Like you got chemicals all on you and shit. Yeah, the like chemicals. it's not like they use yeah. real sh chemicals to yeah. like clean that shit. Like it's like a real deep cleaning. You Don't clean breathe the this in unless you got a gas tank. And they're like, here, use this fucking piece of cloth. Cover your nose. Your I'm eyes like, are all burning. I'm like, hey, here are these fucking gloves that only come up to your wrist. Yeah. When you spritz and your arms get full of it, you're still going to feel it there. But it's okay. Your hands. Your nah. hands are That's all right. Your money makes. <laughs> nah, the best, the best car wash people are the people that do heroin. Wow! Shout out to people uh -huh. that fucking yeah. do heroin. Yeah. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you yeah. guys. You wash the cars the best. Yeah. My front neighbor, he was a fucking addict, but he would fucking clean that car like no fucking tomorrow. I'll tell you that. Like I'm talking. We about, don't condone <laughs> drug use once again. Yeah, yeah, we're not condone. He's locked up right now. He's doing a, a ten year bid. He's already five years down. Five years down. With a thirty year hey, bid and five years down. A ten year bid. It was oh. a 10 year bid. I yeah. think it's a 30 years bid, five years out. I was going to say, yeah. That's, <laughs> no, that's still, that's, that's, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe he doesn't want to go home. Maybe he's just still there. He still has to do like another 10 before yeah. he's eligible for parole. Facts. <laughs> nah, nope. man, but it sucks, man. Yeah, his, yeah his dad just had a heart attack. So I mean, imagine being How locked up. Um, he's, he's young. He's like 30 something years old. Mm. Yeah, when his dad's like 70 something. <clears throat> his dad just had a heart attack but yeah he would fucking clean my car like no tomorrow bro. any Damn. spot on this bitch any love bug you got on that fucking bitch is coming off yeah, love bugs no. bro that's like, a curse it's a, I'm yeah. not gonna lie yeah. bro it's a skill it's yeah. a skill cause yeah. not everybody can clean a car and make it look right like, yeah, unless you're Puerto, Puerto Rican, unless you're Puerto Rican, you leave streaks and fucking scratch your <laughs> yeah. shit up and all types of shit <laughs> nah, but, nah facts that's true yeah nah Facts. It's fucking crazy. Big facts. But yeah, guys, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for fucking coming back and rocking with us again. Yep. Fuck you for those that, you know what I'm saying, haven't hit that subscription button and that notification bell. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not that hard. I don't want to fucking hear it. It takes a couple seconds, no Fuck excuses. You. If you rock with us, rock with us. If you're not, then get the fuck out of here. Yep. Right? Then get the fuck out of here. But we appreciate it. Love you guys. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Peace.